Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to attempt to carve my jack-o'-lantern for Halloween because by the time this video goes live, Halloween will be tomorrow. So I feel like sooner rather than later, this bad boy needs to get carved. Now I have a rough idea of what I want it to look like in the end, but I am not the greatest pumpkin carver, so we shall see how it goes. First, I'm gonna draw on my rough outline, I guess. <gasps> I picked this bad boy myself with these two hands at a pumpkin patch earlier this year, and it was really fun. Oh, goodness. This is already going swimmingly. <gasps> God, this thing is heavy. Uh! By the way, if you haven't seen this sign, let me talk about it, because I think it's hilarious. It's like a dad joke. But on Halloween, I, I just love it. And also this side. First piece out. I keep seeing these things on Pinterest and these competitions and everything where people are just like stupid good at carving pumpkins. I'm like, how, like, how, how is that a skill for you? Like, where did you learn how to do this? How, how many pumpkins did you have to do? to get this good at it. You know, this world is so crazy that I bet that actually is a profession. Professional pumpkin carver. I'm gonna look that up. Oh God. I feel bad, he's already kind of got a face and I'm just stabbing him right in it. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ugh. 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 Handy tip. When carving pumpkins, don't take the seeds and the mush on the inside and put them in your trash can and leave them there because I promise you it will smell like the worst thing you have ever smelled in your entire life the next morning. Personal experience. Ugh. Oh god. Ugh. Last year my parents had over a hundred trick-or-treaters come to the house and guess how many I had come to my apartment? One and it was nine o'clock and he was a teenager and he wasn't even wearing a costume and he didn't even have a trick-or-treat bag. But I got so excited that anyone had come to my door that I basically just like threw him all of my candy. Haven't they made a pumpkin without this stuff yet? Haven't they genetically engineered some sort of seedless, gutless pumpkin? They've made grapes that taste like cotton candy. Next on my list for the scientists that deal with this sort of thing, pumpkins that don't have gross innards. Oh man, I just realized I bought this thing to put up for this video and I forgot to put it up, so I'm gonna put it up right now. By the way, while I'm just sitting here chatting, I should mention that, hey, did you know that I'm doing Vlogtober? Oh, you didn't? Oh, well, I'll link it right below so you can go and watch my Vlogtober playlist because it's almost over. Did I do it? Did I do it? I did it. I'm actually really proud of myself. I say that now, please hold together. I'm trying to think of any Halloween jokes. I really can't think of any. Except for really, really terrible ones, like what instrument does a skeleton play? The trombone. I think he's done. Okay, big reveal time. Thank you guys so much for watching my pumpkin carving video here on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that it got you into the Halloween spirit. And I would love to hear what you think about my final creation down in the comment section below. And I would love to see your jack-o'-lantern pictures, so I will leave all of my social media links down in the description box so you can send me your pictures. I would absolutely love to see them and be very jealous of your pumpkin carving skills. I think this is kind of the peak the peak of my skills, but I hope you guys have a very fun and safe Halloween, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.